Brace yourself, everyone. We've let Chef Kush off his leash. He's going to be reviewing some kitchen gadgets with normal Barry, and I feel like he's going to get opinionated. I'm representing Ben Everill here, so I'm going to be really strict and serious. <laughs> All right, boys, gadget number one, lift the cloche. Hup. Okay. There is a little bit of construction required. It's like a sundial. Bosca. It's a sundial. It's, a sundial. <laughs> it's got five little knives on it. Are these knives? No. There are spikes and blades. That seems a bit dangerous. That must go on there. Oh, I know what this is. Bosca. It's... What do you think these do? Grip. They grip so you cut cheese. Barry. Barry. This is the Bosca Cheese Curler Amigo. You'll make paper-thin cheese curls with the Bosca Cheese Curler. Ideal for garnishing your favourite Italian dish, but also works very nice as a snack with a drink. Put a tête de moi, which is a cheese, on the pin and rotate the curler cl clockwise. For best results, use cheese straight out of the fridge. Ooh, sorry, I was thinking like, oh, so you don't chop down, you shave the top. It's for fancy cheese, catch. This guy's used this to, to cut his hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, wow. Why, sorry, as a chef, why do you ever want to curl cheese? We used to have one of these at uh, Le Manoir for the oh, cheese did, trolley. Did you, you, should, you used to work in a Michelin star restaurant? You should have mentioned that before. I haven't said that no before. Idea. You should talk about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it would come out on the cheese trolley and it's a bit of ceremony. Also, it shaves. Well, we'll see what it does. Oh, no, tell you what, going down with these. Really? And um, wait, no. wait, wait. Bang! Bang. Shave. Oh, that's satisfying. Yeah. So a little bit about Tête de Moi. It originates from Switzerland, uh, from the Jura region, and falls under the category of semi-hard artisanal cheese. Its name, Monk's Head, hence the haircut from the label, in French alludes to its distinctive cylindrical shape. The cheese is traditionally enjoyed in a unique manner by shaving or scraping it to delicate rosettes, facilitated by a special cheese scraper known as a girole. Wow, okay, that's a, that's a different eating experience. Mm. Is this mainly for deli platters or would you put it on salads or on top of hot dishes as well or not? I, I'd want to keep the texture as mm. it is. Mm. So I think it should be shaved That's and eaten it. as it is. It's got a lovely texture. It's a very dry cheese inside uh. once you get down into it. But by doing this, it spreads that flavour all over your mouth really mm. quickly. Mm. Imagine eating a big chunk of that, it'd be almost mm. too much. Mm. Where the, and it comes up to, it warms quite nicely in your hand, which brings the flavours out as well because it's so thin. It almost, the funkiness, tastes quite a lot like truffle. Yeah. You get like a, a truffly vibe yeah. from it. It's really tasty. It's a unique way of experiencing cheese. But can you get something relatively close with a microplane? I think with a peeler you could try and get close. Yeah. A, a microplane would break it into tiny little pieces. I love the story behind it. They produce the cheese mm -hmm. that tastes great, shaved into little pieces like this. Mm -hmm. So they've created a device specifically for that yep. one task. Yep. This has one task and so far it does it well. I can see this is an Ebers gadget. Yeah. Because he loves entertaining, he loves the theatre, he loves cheese. Loves shaving. Loves shaving. Love shaving. Thank God, because he gets really hairy really quickly. <laughs> um, and yeah, I can, see, I can see him absolutely loving this type of thing. As a gadget, it does one thing really well. Really well. How much you need it in your life? Debatable. But if you adore your cheese and adore that cheese, yeah. I'm sure that's one of the finest ways of eating it. How much do you think this gadget is? Considering that specific cheese cost us 30 quid. Wow! I'd be surprised if the gadget wasn't more than 15 pounds. So I'll, I'll stick to 15 quid. I'm gonna go 18.99 looking at the welds. If I told you it was 24 pounds 99? What would you think? Yeah, because it's being sold in a posh shop, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I won because I was closer, so I'm happy with that. This, this, isn't a, this isn't a competition, this is a friendly game. Everything's a competition okay, with you and me, Baz. Great, brilliant. Yeah. Seeing that this is the internet and you're reviewing it, we're going to need an internet star review. And to rate it out of five stars, please. As a gadget, it works and it works really well, so it has to be five stars. But I'd say it's a close shave, whether it's needed and whether it's for you. It's quite a good, actually quite a good review. Very nice, very nice. Boys, number two. Oh, 
Oh, what, what, what could it be? <laughs> I think I know what it is, and I love it. <laughs> Scouring sponge mitts. Mary, Mary scrubs. These are the Duramit. The Duramit represents the natural progression in cleaning, surface preparation, and finishing application products by permanently bonding to an attachment. In this case, a rubber glove. I just realised, well, they're both right hands. Yeah. For a second, I thought there was a right and a left, and that would be completely pointless. <laughs> <laughs> but straight away, it is a scouring pad with a sponge behind it, so you can't actually use the sponge part of it that well. Oh, yeah, because like the sponge part is for the delicate, it's bits. The delicate bits, yeah. and you don't need the sponge bit. So here are some of the claims from the Duramit. Protect hands while you clean. A better alternative to normal latex gloves. No need to grasp a cleaning pad. Ergonomically correct design. Waterproof. Versatile. So the, the term ergonomically is overused with all design products. It's just something people say, they say, it supposedly makes your life easier and it's ergonomic design to make that application. There's nothing ergonomically useful about that. I can imagine having to take it off quite a few times when washing up. Yeah. Like you want to load the dishwasher. So you scrub, open the dishwasher, take it off, get your hand wet, put it in, and then the worst thing in life, other than, you know, a few things, is putting a wet hand in a rubber glove. That is that, you know what, I think it actually might be the worst. Worst, yeah. I think that might be the worst. Shall we give him a test? Yep, let's go. So boys, in front of you, you have a bowl of hot water, some washing up liquid, and some dirty washing up. We're gonna time you both to see how long it takes you to get through your washing up. Barry has the Duramit, Kush has just the scouring pad. Start washing up in three, two, one, go. Oh, I can't fit my hand in the big cup. <laughs> Bowl done. Get to the bottom of it. Mug done. Oh, what is in here? This is completely you know, so pointless because my other hand's wet. <laughs> I can't grab it like he's grabbing the sponge. I have to put my hand flat to get. <laughs> It's not often a gadget makes me angry. That would now go in the dishwasher to rinse if needs be. Great, so Kush, you're done. Yeah. Barry? Barry, carry on. You're, you're still not done. Yeah, we're not. No, the game's finished now because Kush obviously won. It's torn away from the glove. So you could. And then use that. Okay, boys, how was that as an experience? So this is only useful to anything that is completely and utterly flat and you can just do wax on, wax off. Everything else that we're going to the corners, it loses its point because you can only use this bit here to get into corners. Do you want to take a guess at the price? Pound. Uh, a pound would be too much. I think it's a pound eighty nine because you've got to factor the glove in. We paid four pounds forty five. Going to need a review and a rating out of five stars, please. One star and it's being returned. Yeah, I think it scrubbed you up the wrong way. Very good, very good. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do to make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. All right, boys, gadget number three. Lift the cloche. Bang. K-safe. Okay, kitchen safe, it says on the side. Kitchen safe, so, oh, what is that? So this looks like a Tupperware box that you put, like, I'd say, pasta or rice in. But it's got a timer and these little... So is it to tell you when... Tabs? Like when you get a Brita filter, it tells you when you put the filter in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know. Biscuit tin. Yeah. To stop you going in and eating biscuits all the time. It's a lockable treat jar, isn't it? This is the kitchen safe time locking cookie jar and container. The Kitchen Safe is the time lock container to help us fight temptations. USA Today and Time Magazine call it brilliant. Brilliant. So think sweets, treats, but also mobile phones. Think cigarettes. And Baz, bay leaves. Keep Put those away. in there. Careful. Careful. Like, I know, I know. Can I you set it to years? I think I have, to, <laughs> I have to lock them away. There's too much flavour. We'll have to keep them. <laughs> I'm not one for a cookie jar anyway. Like, no. we get through the packets pretty quickly, don't need a jar. I'm not, I'm not a fan of biscuits. No? I don't like sugar much. For me, if it's in the house, I'm gonna eat it. I'm, I'm the same with cheese. Yeah? Yeah, this could be my cheese box. I'll be mummy. 
You be baby. This is not what... Yeah? Cushy, can I have a cookie, please? You can have a cookie. No, 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 I want one now. Just one now, just one now, please. You can wait one minute. Okay, boys, so you understand the theory. What sort of scenarios can you see this being used for? You can either try and set yourself targets for, like, I'm not allowed to eat what's ever in there till I do a job or uh, yeah, in, in six yeah, hours' yeah. time. In my experience, with my situation, it feels silly to stop me eating cookies. For my kid, on the other hand, where he, I give, I, he has a cookie, he's like, can I have another one? Okay, one more cookie. Can I have another cookie? No more cookies. That then becomes a bit of a fight to stop the third cookie. Whereas this, you can go, you can have one in, in after this happens and set a time. That's one minute gone. Okay. Knock yourself out. Okay. Thank, thank you. Yeah. So we're now playing well. We've sneaked in. We've snuck in. We're going to steal from the cookie jar. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you get into no, it? No, no way. I've never got a hammer. Uh, oh, go on, take the batteries out. Uh, no, it'll just stay locked. <laughs> put the batteries back in, Barry. Okay, nice. So it's tamper proof. What's the timer say when you put them back in? Go back to a minute. Oh, oh. it's reset. It's punishing me. <laughs> it punishes you. So it resets the timer when you take the batteries out. That's smart. Could you lock away your phones maybe at meal times? Oh. Or your and remote. You could, yeah, or, or the remote. That's smart. What are the units? Uh, we've you got can set it. Days, hours, minutes, and seconds. But, oh, so days you can, is you so. You can tick up in minutes. So you could technically, does it speed up when you go quicker? Oh yeah, it goes quick. There, there. That's 20, that's one day, one hour and 40 minutes. So it's really quick to set. This has got highly positive reviews. Some reviewers are saying it's actually fantastic to help carers for people with Alzheimer's. Um, others see, others do say there are tricks to opening it <laughs> and you can get in there if you really want to. What are you putting in my pocket? No, no, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Did you just, you cheeky? What did I set it to? Five hours. Yeah, you're at work. I you don't need your headphones back. You don't need your AirPods for five hours. You're fine. Boys, want to take a guess at the price? Twenty-five pounds for this size. Twenty-five pounds one pence. Forty-nine pounds ninety-two. <sighs> Loser. It's a lot of money, isn't it? <laughs> that is a horrific amount That's of money. That's a huge amount of money. Okay, boys, need a rating out of five and an online review. Mm. Lock away those habits for a lifetime. Or a few Four days. Four stars. Or five hours. Yeah. Safe to say we've got a positive review. Hey. Boys, final gadget. Lift the cloche at number four. What could it be? Are you still winning? Yes, I've just locked your headphones away. <laughs> These are scales. These are huge. I've got scales like this at home. Ooh, made out of glass. glass. So you like your bathroom scales. Boys, this is the Salter Max electronic kitchen scale and chopping board. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 you're gonna really <laughs> cush off here. In the bin. <laughs> right, okay. Combining two kitchen essentials, this Max electronic kitchen scale from Salter works as a scale and a chopping board. Lightly chop and prepare ingredients on the scale. The extra large glass platform has an impressive 15 kilogram maximum capacity, perfect for measuring all your ingredients. When Kush first joined, you got rid of any chopping board that resembled any type of glass material because the sensation of chopping onto glass is horrific. Yeah, so tempered glass chopping boards are harder than metal, so they will dull any knife that goes on them. Should we give it a test? Yes. Okay, so for this, we're not going to weigh anything right now. We're just going to chop it and then we're going to weigh it. So why don't you use a chopping board if you... Okay, push. Push. Oh my God. The sound of it is unpleasant, but also, more dangerously, is it's incredibly slippy. I think this is about the right amount of carrots I want. For what purpose? Is that 17 grams? I don't think it is. I take them off, I zero it. It's 16, 16 grams, grams now. So I had to, to get an accurate reading, I have to take what I've just cut off the board and put it back on again. Can I brunoise some onion for you, sir? Uh, please, please, chef. Garlic. I'm trying to understand the, the dual functionality of 
why it's useful being a chopping board and, a set, and a set of scales outside of just perhaps saving space. The only benefit I can see right now of having a big set of scales is, this is bonkers because I'm just take this off here in order, to, in order to weigh it and zero it, but as if you had a big pan yep. and you want to be, still be able to see the numbers. Because sometimes you get small scales, it does cover it up. My one at home does. Now I want to measure how much is going in. But that's the only time I think it'd be useful is when weighing water or other ingredients into a big sauce, but that would usually cover up the display. So yeah, I, I guess it's really more a space saving thing. I mean, it's, it's not allowing you to do anything other than weigh and chop. And I wouldn't recommend chopping anything that needs lots of scrubbing or washing because no. there's batteries in it. So you're not going to dump it in the sink and scrub it, are you? So this is a spray and wipe surface, which is, is glass, you know, it cleans quite easily, but you wouldn't want to chop chicken on that. So we mentioned this before, but Salter have been making scales for over 100 years and Richard Salter actually created the first home set of scales with springs. What are your overall thoughts? It does neither of its purposes as well as a simpler item. Yeah. How much do you think these sell for? It's over 20 quid. I'm going to go 25 yeah. pounds. I'm going to go 29 pounds. 27 pounds 50. Boys, we're going to need a rating out of five and an online review. How many stars? One. One you star. You can chop on it, but really badly. Give it the chop. It's not worth the wait. Hey! Why, why wait? Because it weighs things it weighs stuff, as yeah. well. Wait. Within the context of time? No, it's, it's just the same word, isn't it? The weight of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're the thoughts of our chef and our normals, but what do you think? Comment down below. And if you like this video and this new duo, give this video a like. Many likes. And subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs>